I saw some things that Alison Martin had done. Alison Martin did that she used milk cartons, sliced them up, and they created these square pieces. She made some great things out of them. And I don't have milk cartons, but it made me think about how to make those square pieces. And this is going to be as much about making those starbursts as how to work with paper which is something I've been wanting to do for a while. I'm going to talk a lot about that. Now I'm going to make, I'm going, I need to divide this into four, but first I need a tab. So I'm going to make my tab, and this is about an inch. I'm not measuring, but what I am doing is making sure this one edge right here is lined up exactly on top of the edge below it. That way I don't have to do any measuring. I just hold it down flat and laws of paper and physics and math will make it so that that just makes a nice even flap here with no measuring and worrying about the other, the, this side and this side. They match. Okay, I'm going to turn this over and now it's time to fold this into fourths. The best way to do this is to start off by folding it in half. I'm going to make sure everything's lined up nicely. Hold it, and I'm going to slide across and press up and down. And that gives you a good fold. And I'm really going to make sure that this is a nice sharp fold because I'm going to end up reversing this fold. And if it's nice and sharp, it'll be easy to reverse. And I'll talk about that more when it's time. Finishing up the fourths, I'm going to bring this open edge over to the middle. Line it up nicely, hold it, slide across, and go up and down. Turn it over, do the same thing. Line it up nicely, the sliding across is important, and you end up with fourths. Um, I, this isn't a square though, it's a W or an M. I want it to be a cube, so I need to reverse this fold right here. And it will reverse nicely if it's a sharp fold. So I just take this and start folding on that same fold, and it will just do it nicely. Okay, so now I need to make my cube. It's ready to go into cube form. I'm going to use this little tab here. Now, it's going to go like this. And this doesn't all have to be glued underneath. What's important about the gluing is just right here at the edge. Really, the only reason to make the tab that big is so that I can make an even fold. So I'm going to take this piece. And I'm going to use a glue stick for this. I think glue sticks great, work great for this. Um, but I'm also going to demonstrate how to use white glue. So I'm only going to really worry about this edge. Take my scrap paper away. And I'm going to fold, make sure this is flat down, and fold on top of it. This isn't, I could cut that away if I want to. I'm not going to. Now, um, I'm going to cut this piece off. And if you think I'm going to cut a whole bunch of pieces to make this starburst um, and then glue them together, you would be wrong. I'm going to do something a little bit, I'm going to do it differently. This piece right here, I'm just going to mark it so that I don't lose track of which side, which has the glue on it. And I'm going to put glue on this. This whole thing, except remember, I did cut one piece off already. And here it is. And I'm just going to line it up and glue it on. And this is the trick of working this way. I'm going to end up getting some um, glue on my scissors, but it's going to be worth it. 
because I press that down and then once it's glued down I cut it and now I've got three pieces glued together and cut it and this is the fastest neatest way of making this. I'm going to make a total of seven pieces here, not because it needs seven pieces. Um, five would be okay, six would be okay. Uh, I just like the way it looks with seven. And it's getting a little uneven that, you know, each piece is maybe getting a little bit bigger. But that doesn't matter. So that's my seven pieces. And here it goes. And it opens up. It's a beautiful little starburst. Now if I wanted it to be six pieces, it would have looked like that. And if I wanted it to be five pieces, it would have looked like this. And four pieces, it would have looked like this. And three pieces, of, <laughs> there we go, something like that. But I've got seven here, and I'll end up gluing this last piece together. Now that may be all you need to see, but there's, if you want to do insides, like here's an inside, um, it's done a little bit differently. And so I'm going to talk about that. Um, I'm going to say make this piece about 30% smaller than the piece you started with. The piece I started with was eight and a half. And so I'm going to slice off I'm going to slice off about three inches um, from this. And so I'm starting with a smaller piece. Same thing. Remember this little trick of folding down the tab, but really making sure that's lined up. Once that's lined up, it's like magic. Just make a nice even cut. Hear those steps again. I'm sorry I'm making you watch this again, but it's going to be worth it because I'm going to show you a little trick with using white glue instead of the glue stick. And then there's a really important step about how to make it fit nicely into the starburst. So do you remember before I needed to um, reverse this fold? So there it goes. Remember where I need the glue is really at the edge. And actually, you know what, this one, I think instead of putting it like this, I'm going to put it like this. And there's a reason for that. I really want the tab to be on the inside, make sure everything's nice and even. Also, I want to show you, I'm going to use the white glue. Here's my white glue. I'm going to use my finger. Uh, really prefer to use my finger for something like this because I can really tell when it's really thin. You know how like white glue makes things all crinkly and bubbly and it doesn't look good? It's because there's too much white glue. If you use a really, really thin amount of white glue, it doesn't get as crinkly. And it dries faster. Now watch, when I'm, this is actually the reason I wanted to do it this way. I don't want to just try to put this down to glue it. What I want to do is start at this edge and make sure everything li is lying flat here. And then it'll find the right place to fold. Otherwise it won't find the right place to fold. You'll think it does, but it won't. Okay? So now before I put the marks here, I'm not going to put the marks there this time. I'm going to put it in a different place. Oops. I'm getting all excited. 
Um, the marks are going to be on this whole side. And I really recommend marking that because it's going to have the glue on it and you're not going to want to get the glue on your hands. I'm going to go, I could do the white glue, um, but I'm going to just do the uh, glue stick here because it's just a little faster. It's nice and wider. So there's a lot of glue. And here's my star. And I cut this. And as soon as I cut it, I'm going to glue it onto the piece. Now watch what I'm doing. This part doesn't have glue on it. That's where I want my hands. This part right here. Hold it in half, not touching any glue. I'm going to slide it into the star. I'm going to open the star up a little bit. Slide it right into the edge, and then I'm going to squish the star around it. And there it goes. It goes nicely in there. So, this step again, I cut it. I'm grabbing the part that doesn't have the glue on it. Opening up the star, sliding it in. Pressing the glue on top of it. Okay? I'm not going to do the whole thing. That's just the same thing over and over again. But, I have done it a bunch of times. And they turn out really nice. Uh, when you're done, you're going to often have some left over. And if you've got some left over, I would like to remind you to play around with them. Here I cut some, and look what happens. It's so cool. And here's another one that I played around with. You see it's this funny shape. It looks like a star from above. And there's another one around here somewhere. Yes, here's this one. With this one and there we go. So, have fun. Make them out of magazines. Make them out of different sizes. Uh, but have a good time.